Hey, welcome back. Uh, it's a little blustery today, but it's not snowing. Just a little weather update. Um, don't forget that I am building my community of advisors and other scrapbookers like me. Uh, whether you want to be behind the camera, behind your computer screen with a few friends at your dining room table or holding big events or a combination of all three, this business opportunity has something for everyone. Um, or if you just want a discount, a hobby, side jobby, that kind of thing. Um, or if you want to hold a beginner class and get your friends into this with you, uh, let me know whether you're local to me or not. You can earn some free stuff. And don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, hit the little bell so you know uh, when I have a new video. And head over to Facebook. That's where I have a little shop and I'll be adding new things on the regular. And all my schedule of events is on there so you can register or get more information. Some have Zoom options. Today, I am playing with the much anticipated envelope and bow maker. Thank goodness it's back. If you've been jealous that, you know, the people that did have one, now you can get yours. So, uh, we're going to make a card today. I am going to be doing more videos with this fun gadget because you can make bows for your scrapbook pages or envelopes for your scrapbook pages. So, there's or ribbons, there's all kinds of things. So I'll be making more videos, stay tuned, but let's get started. So right now you can get the envelope and bow maker for $28.50 or the bundle is $52.50. You get the free bone folder, the envelope maker, and then you get these um, paper packs that are already cut to perfect envelope size. So this is for the slimline envelopes, and I forgot how many are in here. I think 12, one, two, three, yeah, 12. Uh, five by seven envelopes or four by six envelopes. So that bundle is 52.50, you get the free bone. We also have a party time envelope and card kit for birthday cards. So you make the envelopes for all these fun cards. Um, there's four, so that's fun. Um, to, uh, here are a few things that I have made. These cute little boxes. This one has a ribbon around it with a bow. Um, I have made, this one is super fun. Would be a great card to give away, but it's a little interactive card. Um, Noreen Smith shared this. So cute. So this is made with the envelope and bow maker. Um, I made a little hot cocoa envelope that you could give away. And then what we're making today are these cute, adorable little mason jar cards. Aren't they so cute? Very cute. Okay, so I have some Cue the Blue scraps that I wanna use up for this project. Um, I've cut them to, mat, to match my card width, which is four and a quarter. Most cards are four and a quarter. And I'm gonna just tape these on here. Ooh, we have choices. This is gonna go on the top. So do we like this or do we like this? kind of like that. So let's tape this down. And we really actually, let's tape this down first. Oh, I like that too. But I think I like, no, I like that better. Okay, so this is a three quarter inch strip. Three quarter by four and a quarter on a regular four and a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And then I'm gonna just cover the front of it basically. Looks like we are a little off somewhere. Perfect. And then I need a little 
more here. I could have measured, but I'm just going to do this and I'll cut the rest off. So um, you could have a four and a four and a quarter by five and a half sheet of paper, cut three quarters off the top and flip it. So you could have, you know, use the same sheet of paper if you wanted. Okay, then I want to make a little decoration down here with this vellum. So I need to cut it at four and a quarter to match. And then I'm just gonna tear it. Vellum is really interesting for me. I kind of struggle with it. Struggle knowing what to do with it, but I think this is gonna look very nice. Um, and we do have vellum tape runner. I like to use the regular and in very small quantities and in conspicuous places. And as long as you rub and you can use your bone folder, you normally cannot see it. Um, if the paper behind is darker, sometimes it shows up a little bit. Okay, so now you got your card base started. You're going to notch this at where the papers meet. So just put where the papers meet on that little line there and punch it. And you're punching through, you know, quite a few layers. So, and do the same to the other side. And now you got this milk jug looking, which would be a cute card too. Let's just trim off these little pieces. Actually, I'm gonna flip it easier for me. There we go. Now we're looking more like a milk jug. Put the scissors up. And then we're gonna take the corner rounder and you're gonna corner round all your corners. Think about it some more, there we go. I knew there was an easier way. And then we really have a milk jug look. Isn't that so cute? I love it. Okay, so yes, you can make envelopes, but you can also make fancy cards. And then I have some Cue the Blue embellishments for the front. This is our samples. Oh yes, this is gonna look fabulous. Who doesn't love getting happy mail? I feel like we need to be sending more of that. For sure. And I was thinking about using some of these back here. Let's see what it looks like. I could trim that off. Oh yeah. So we'll tape this on here. I wanna pop this up. In December, I think it was December, I tried to send one card a day to just someone random person that I saw or made me feel good or whatever that day. It was very fun. Okay, let's trim that off. And you could wrap twine around the top like I did on these others. Um, but I kind of like it just like that. I have some of these, but I really think I like it just like that. So there you go. Get your envelope and bow maker. Get the bundle, you get the free bone folder. Okay, so if you liked that, there's plenty more videos on my channel. Please check them out. Uh, if you need an envelope and bow maker and you're not already loved by an advisor, please pick me. And look for my smiling face at checkout, please. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support and your comments. And 
I just love you all. My good little community, I love you. Uh, don't forget to come back. So hit the little bell so you know when I have a new video. And let me know if you would like to join my team or become a scrapbooker with us. Thanks for watching.